Okay. Okay, so, um, yeah, this was a... Uh, what do you do if, like, uh, family or friends are, are around, but you can't be there to be with them, uh, and you feel guilt? And you feel guilt uh, for not being there, not being able to be with them. And the thing, um, the way I, I mean, the way I would deal with that, let's say uh, someone's coming over from another country to visit, but you know, I have to go to work or something, and I can't be with them, and they'll be, they haven't, they're not spending much time, then I'll feel that, that uh, sense of guilt, you know, that I, I should be with them. And I think the, the thing with me, with that then would be uh, to uh, process the feelings and the way I sort of see it um, we know from uh, Hawkins research A um, there's no such thing as separation and B um, the the effect that I have is correlated to m my connection my level of consciousness so if I let go and also um, the thing to do there, you know, how I, the relationship that I would have, say, with, with a family member is got to do with, uh, for me, two dynamics. One is my repressed feelings, my suppressed and my repressed feelings that I hold in connection with that individual, and also my beliefs, all the beliefs that I'm holding. And so if I'm, if I'm able to release those, like, those feelings of guilt, I should be there. And that would be, the guilt is because they have special, they're, they're projected with specialness. So I think I should be with them because they're special. But actually, specialness and separation are just uh, related to being in the ego. There is no such thing as specialness. There is no, ultimately, there's no such thing as distance and uh, individuality. So, I, so it's an opportunity now to d dissolve a special bond. And, uh, to, and how do you do that? So if I'm feeling guilt and I'm having thoughts, oh, I should be with them, I shouldn't, I, shouldn't be, uh, I shouldn't be away from them, then I can feel out that guilt. So feeling out the guilt is, you know, as, as a, maybe if I'm at work, just allowing those feelings and not labelling them or not making a story. And if thoughts come in, oh, I shouldn't be here, I feel guilty, I should be with them, just ignore those thoughts and just allow those feelings to, to be released. And... Uh, you know, cancel beliefs or just uh, not, not go into that. Or we can go into the observer, detach from the story, what's observing the guilt, what's observing the thoughts of I should be with them. And as you dissolve that, um, uh, your level of consciousness will go up. And that's the, that's the greatest gift. Uh, that's the greatest gift because they'll be connected to the source. And often mir miracles happen when you let go. So you could say, if the world is like an opportunity to transcend uh, the things within me which are blocking me off from my uh, from uh, from grace from enlightenment, so that's like you could one could perceive that as an opportunity. It's like the universe has manufactured this situation so that I can feel the guilt and let go of the special thoughts, and that for me, you know, like my um, like my mother died uh, earlier this year. And I had spent a lot of time letting go of my attachment and the symbolic meaning of what my mother meant. And, I, and just letting go and feeling out all the attachment, feeling out all the feelings, and letting go of all the hooks I had around what does mother mean, what does this person mean, letting go of all the specialness, and making it, as the, as the Course in Miracles says, making it meaningless. And, I, and that, for me, was the greatest gift, because... For me, the miracles, I invite miracles in for myself and for them in direct correlation to how much I'd let go. So when I'm in, uh, if, I, if, if I didn't do much spiritual work, didn't do much forgiveness work, didn't let go of the thoughts and the symbolism of this person, then it's like the energy, you know, I can't be an instrument for God's miracles and grace because I'm holding on to so much baggage so much repressed feelings of guilt, I should be there all the time to look after them. Uh, so I need to let that, that, that is blocking off the grace or presence, if you like, all that guilt and, and neediness and oh, I'm feeling that I'm not, you know, I should always be there for them. If I feel that out, they and myself will have more miracles. If I let go of all the thoughts that they're special, they and myself will have more miracles. Because, you know, with Hawkins' work, uh, if you look at... Um, 
Hawkins' work. To, I mean, three things I'd like to say, because a lot of, um, I think a lot of spiritual seekers have a lot of, um, don't really recognize the value of letting go of your ego, letting go of your repressed feelings and your projections of specialness or making somebody your higher power or holding on, thinking that guilt is good. If I feel guilty, I'm, I'm being good in some way. And actually, so if you look at, uh, these are the three things I often mention, like TM meditation, like they had about, I don't know, 2,000 2, people in Boston meditating every day for a month or two, and the violent crime rate went down by about 43%. So rather than have the thing, like if there's all those criminals, like one thing a spiritual person might think, if there's lots of criminals and lots of people committing crimes in the areas, to go out and talk to them and be nice to them. But actually, if you just let go of your stuff, you know, they all come down without being, needing to talk to them. So just you letting go already emits and is affecting everyone outside. So that will also happen with letting go of family baggage. You know, they'll get the miracles as well. Also, the other thing with um, uh, in, uh, Dr. Hugh Len, that's the famous story. You know, he was given the files of a whole prison in Hawaii of violent criminals. And he didn't really go and speak to them or talk to them. He just forgave, cleared the data of what they had done from their criminal files, and they all got well and released. So that's the power of just clearing the data in yourself, not necessarily having to be with the individual and, and, and talk to them. Another thing, of course, is Hawkins' work. You know, like, if you go up, if you just allow your consciousness to go up just a little bit, that has much more impact than anything. So. It just was like the thing of like, if I was to feel guilt, like I'm not with a family member who's here in the country, I would let those thoughts go and I, I would know that just by letting go of the stuff in me which is being triggered, that is already helping them. So that would alleviate my guilt because I know actually, I know that the work I'm doing in clearing my inner stuff is also helping them because, you know, there's a, a universal bond of oneness which, which I'm dissolving. So I sort of see it as an opportunity. And most people who do spiritual work have seen, and with the, um, someone was sharing it earlier today, as you let go of the stuff in you, other people are, you know, whether they're in the room or not, they, they do benefit from, from that because you're, you're, you're letting go and processing it. Uh, apart from that, you know, you can do the Course of Miracles, just pray for a miracle to see the situation differently or cancel my belief uh, that I need to feel guilty uh, around the situation or in service I can see peace or... I place my family member into God's light and love. So all of those things. Um, and so... Um, I sort of see that the, the great benefit is like, I don't have to, it's like, when I do the inner work, that in itself is affecting everyone. And also, when I do inner work in relationship to one individual that I've got a special relationship with, that's also he healing the special relationship. So it's like... When I have a special relationship, I'm having a relationship based on limited love. And as I let go of the specialness, then the relationship can, can, can occur in universal love without, without the ego's imprint of specialness on it. So for me, there's, there's greater love given when there's not the projection of specialness, even though the ego likes the idea of special relationships.